YouTube, it's Drew Lefty NDV uh, coming to you from my hallway. I uh, thought I'd just give you a guys a little updated tour of my man cave. Uh, I busted my iPhone 6. Uh, it's still functional. I just got to order a part for it. So for now, I'm filming on my old iPhone, so the video quality may not be as good. Not sure how this is going to turn out, but um, walls are still kind of barren here, but uh, everything else is kind of set up. I had to take my deer heads out to show some room. I just haven't put them up on the wall yet. This is the first buck I ever killed, small little eight. I killed this big 10 when I was 16. And then that was the big eight that I killed last year. If you guys like to hunt, what up? Put food on the table, trophies on my walls. But yeah, um, getting ready for the Georgia game today. Georgia, Alabama, go dogs. Sorry, Jason. <laughs> it should be a hell of a game, though. Uh, so here it is, guys. Uh, Megan surprised me with this desk. Her dad was moving and just put it up in here one day while I was gone to work. Um, let's see. I got my light in the way because I'll do my video right there. But I got my chipper thing in here. I uh, got myself a little couch. My bobbleheads and some boxes over there. An old chest I had that used to keep cards in. It's an old hat rack. I got to get that up on the wall. But this is something new I put up in here. Um, showed Matt and uh, Max pictures of this but just something like this we had at the card shop and it just really helped me get organized so I'm, I'm trying to get everything straightened up and organized got a little closet there Let's see what's in here Let's see what's in my closet cleaning out my closet uh, just some supplies and random stuff baseballs and Jim Brown helmet up there I need to get some stuff out so Julius Irving basketball in one of those boxes autographed. So yeah, I got to get some stuff up on the walls. But um, everything else coming good. Oh well, update. Here's my shattered iPhone. I just got to order a new screen for it. Cost me about fifty bucks. But yeah, um, that's it, guys. Really glad to uh, kind of get everything over here kind of organized and whatnot. Really awesome to have that. You guys have seen most of my bobbleheads before. Got some old boxes up there. Outside world. Alrighty, so bear with me on this video. Uh, I've never done it from this angle. Oh, also, I ran out and picked up some of this stuff. I'd seen some of you guys trying it in your videos. Not your father's root beer. It's not too bad. It's got kind of a weird malty taste to it, of course, because it's kind of sweet. Uh, but I've had a lot worse, so that's not too bad. Um, all right, guys, so bear with me. Never done a video from this angle. Going to point it right at Chipper's crotch. Uh, my, one of my favorite things to look at in here. All righty, so I picked up this card. Uh, I started with some Chipper stuff from 2014 Tops Tribute. Let me turn it on the TV. Well, damn. There we go is from 2014 Tribute, and it's the Green Refractor, numbered out of 50. Really sweet looking card there, love that one. Uh, for the Chipper Collection, I've been wanting this card for a while, they go actually fairly expensive, I got a decent deal on this one, I think like 10, 12 bucks. It's the 98 Skybox Thunder Dial 1, hold on a minute, let me move this closer to the light. Now we're really on his crotch. There we go. Yeah, kind of has like a see-through background. Really cool card there. Love those. Kind of hard to get. Sweet there. And then this one is from 97 Pinnacle Inside. Really cool card. I would take it out and show you, but um, this little pendulum on the side here swings, and it will rotate their stats to different years. It's got Chipper on the front and Jim Tomey on the back. Jim Tomey had a monster 96 year, as did Shipper. Pretty good one there. So this thing rotates, and it'll show you their stats in different years. Love that card. Thought that was really cool. Uh, let's see. Next thing, uh, on to the 07 Sweet Spot Classics set update. I'm down to nine left. Um, yeah, so I'll show you guys these. Got the Will Clark bat version. I already have the jersey, so I took out the bat. Uh, this one was... Super cheap. I got three of these from the same guy. I've just been avoiding me forever. The Bill Matlock. 
bat card. Don't know why that one took so long uh, to get. This uh, is also an SP version. The Jersey variation of Red Shane Dinkst. Love that there. The baby blue jersey. Uh, then this one also took forever to get. It's kind of an SP according to the checklist. Just not as many of them. Uh, Robin Yount bat. I got a really good deal on that one too. Sometimes these go for like 15 bucks. I got that one for like five. So happy to get that. As I said, I'm down to nine. Uh, really the last uh, real SP that I needed to get was this card and Max Jackson knew I was looking for it and one popped up on eBay the last one of these sold went for forty two dollars this one popped up like buy it now thirty bucks best offer I was being cheap sent the guy an offer of eighteen immediately he accepted so for the win there Raleigh Fingers Brewers jersey there we go Love that card again. So happy to get that. Thank you so much, Max. I'm down to nine. Uh, Johnny Bench, Marischal. Um, let's see. I think one Nolan Ryan. Nothing really too much. Going to cost me about ten bucks a piece. So, yeah. And then the last two cards for the old school, old school pickups. Uh, like I said, I've just really been kind of digging these. This one is from 1880s Kenny Bros. It's classified as an N224. And basically, Kenny Bros was just another tobacco company. This is the most complete and correct collection of military and naval uniforms throughout the world. Regiments forward, forwarding colored sketches will be included as rapidly as possible. Kenny Tobacco Company, New York, successors to Kenny Bros. Uh, this is an excellent five, so 60 for SGC. N224 Private of Infantry, USA, 1886 military series so really cool looking card there I got this for seventeen dollars shipped I don't know why I just liked it so hopefully you guys enjoy seeing that stuff too and then the last one one day I'd really love to build a set there's some awesome cards in here such as machine gun uh, sword bayonet fighting bullfighting sword bowie knife revolver Arab musket bow and arrow Greek sword you get the picture this is the 1887 Allen & Ginter N3 Cutlass, Arms of All Nations. And that is also an excellent 560. Just a beautiful looking card. Really just love the artwork on these. This is the N3 set. I'll be picking up a few more of these. Sorry if you all you guys are going to pout and whine about non-sport cards, but uh, get over it. These are just awesome. That's all I got, guys. Hope everybody has a great Saturday watching college football. I'm on vacation. It's my favorite month of the year. Got a birthday coming up. I have two weeks paid vacation. Woo! So, uh, yeah, hit me up. I lost all contacts, so text me your number if I had it previously. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.